We've got three Linux machines, a client, router and server inside VirtualBox set up in a small internet. Let's have a look at the command netstat on those machines and we'll see the different options that this provides us. Netstat actually provides many different uh, sets of information, network uh, connection information, network statistics. We know that ifconfig, for example, shows us statistics for a particular interface. Simple things like receive bytes, re uh, receive packets, and so on. Netstat has uh, a number of different options or modes. The minus i mode shows us interface information. So similar information to ifconfig, but in a tabular format. But Netstat shows us other information. For example, we know the routing table can be viewed using the route command, the minus n to show the numeric addresses. Netstat has a Netstat has a minus r for routing table information. And it's identical information to the route command. So as, as the case with Linux, a lot of times you can do the same thing or similar things using different tools. And that's because of historical reasons. Uh, people have developed different tools to do similar things, they have different trade-offs. Uh, so that information we've normally seen. One other, another useful option for Netstat, we'll clear that, is to show statistics of the TCP IP stack. And that just prints out statistics, and if I scroll up and, and show you those, it shows IP statistics, packets received, IP packets received, internet control message protocol statistics, ICMP like ping messages, uh, different message types, and then TCP and UDP transport layer statistics. Uh, and this will change as you run your machine and, and there's different communications taking place. TCP segments received, sent out, UDP packets received, and some extension information about TCP and IP, which are not included by default. So if you want to see information about packets sent, then netstat minus s is a good starting point. So as we've seen, netstat has different modes like interfaces, routing tables, statistics. If we look at the man page, you can go through and read about those different modes. So the routing table, interfaces, there's other things like groups, masquerade uh, for, uh, for network address translation, statistics. And the other useful one is to see TCP and UDP connections or sockets. Let's have a look at that. Netstat minus T for TCP, minus N for numeric addresses. This shows active TCP connections, ongoing or established in this case uh, that my client is involved with. And importantly, it's showing that my IP address 10.0.2.15, which is my NAT interface, and port number 22, which is my secure shell server, has an established TCP connection with 10.0.2.2 and port 34735 and a second uh, connection also with the secure shell server. So with netstat minus T, we can see uh, current connections to our server or connections from our, or, uh, from our uh, uh, machine out to other servers. And this is useful if we're running uh, TC, uh, secure shell servers, web servers, and other servers on our machine. You can see the servers that we're running or that that we're listening on using a minus L option. This is saying that my machine has a server listening on port 22. It also supports TCP oh, or IP version 6, which is the second row there. But this one is saying uh, I've got a secure shell uh, server waiting to receive packets on port 22. If I was running a web server, then maybe I'd have another entry on uh, listening on port 80. There's a similar option for UDP communications, although that's recorded at slightly different, and in my case I have nothing happening with UDP, so there's no uh, interesting information shown there. So read through the Netstat man page and try some of those options to view information primarily.
the minus T option, minus U, a common routing table if you don't want to use the route command, interfaces, some additional information, and the statistics. And if you scroll through, it explains a lot of the information included in the NetStat output.